Hey friends, welcome back to Automated Notion. Today I'll be demonstrating how to automate relations. This demo is based on my real life time tracker in Notion. If you'd like to see how I track time using Notion, click the video linked above. But for now, I'm just using this scenario to show you how you can automate relations using Make. I have three databases here. I have my timers database, tasks, and projects. Within my timer database, I am relating back to both the task and the projects. In our first example, we're going to automate adding the task to the time entry. My task relation is a two-way relation, meaning that the relation will show on both databases. Single-way relations don't often show up in automations. I'm not going to focus on the trigger. The purpose of this video is just to show how we can assign a relation when a database item is created. But then make, we're going to start out with a get database item module. To use this module, we need the database item ID, basically the Notion page ID. Here I'm using the formula property. So I just have a formula here and it's simply ID with parentheses. Now if I click inside it, of course I'm going to get the formula. But if I click away from it, you see that the property is highlighted in blue. And now I can use my keyboard shortcut, Control or Command C, to copy the ID. And then back in Make, Control or Command V to paste it. Click OK and Run. And within our thought bubble here, we have all the information provided from our page. Now we can create a page within our Timers database. Select Create a Database Item. And now create a database item module. First click search. Within the query field, type the name of your database. If you have multiple databases with similar names, you'll receive a drop down menu here. Otherwise click OK. And you see that our database is automatically connected. So now I'm going to start mapping my properties. I'm going to keep the name the same as my task name. For my name, I'll go to the section under my properties value, go to name, hit the drop down caret, and then I can use the plain text here, or under text, I can use content. To map our relation, simply click inside the field and grab your database item ID. Before we test this out, always remember to save as you go. And now let's run. All right, we've got green lights on both modules, so we're good to go. Let's go back to Notion. As you can see, we now have a new item in our timers database that is related back to our original task. But what if we need to relate multiple items to a single page? Say our task is related to both a project and a subproject. In this scenario, we need to map a list or array of IDs to our new item in timers. If we click on our thought bubble, click the plus sign next to properties value, projects, we now see we have two items. The first is our first project relation and then our second project relation. But if we go to map the entire project's array, we'll receive an error. So in this instance, we'll need to add a function. Within our create a database item module, let's first delete this array. And then within the pop-up, let's go to the functions tab. You can find that in the purple bar up at the top. It kind of looks like a table. And then select map. The map function allows us to select items and their values from a complex array. I'm going to place my cursor right after map after the first parentheses. And then grab the entire project's array and drag it over. When I get the green plus sign, I'll let go. After the semicolon, I'll type ID in lowercase. Click OK, save, and run. Now if we go back to Notion, 
you'll see that we have a new entry in our timer database that is related back to both of our projects. And that's it for our relations automation. If you have any other automations you'd like to see, please comment below. Remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, happy building in Notion.